welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be starting out my channel. I guess this is going to be the first video I put up. Might be the second one. I filmed a um, first impressions on the Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, foundation today. So I've already got my foundation done. I'm not sure if that video is going to go up before this one or after. But um, if it's already up, I'll link it below. And if it's not up, then it should be up within the next week or so. So that my foundation is all done and today I wanted to show you guys just kind of an everyday eye makeup look. Um, I get up super early for work and school and so I don't have that much time to get ready in the morning. Um, I like my sleep so I kind of sleep in as late as I possibly can and then I kind of don't have a lot of time to do my makeup in the morning. Um, so. I know a lot of people do that and I'm not the only one so I wanted to kind of give you guys just a easy everyday eye makeup look that you can do for those days when you're either running late or just as an everyday eye look. Um, a lot of what you find on YouTube is more of like a glam look which I'm all about but I don't have time to do that every single day. I don't have time to do winged liner every day and put false lashes on and put a glitter glue on my eye. Um, Sorry, my dog is barking. So I wanted to give you guys a easy tutorial that you can do every day or even if you're just like learning about makeup and you don't know how to do a lot, this is something easy that you can do without having a lot of tools, without having a lot of eyeshadows. I'm going to be using the Morphe 350 palette today. Um, this is... I believe it's around $20, um, but you can get it on Morphe's site. But the great thing about this look, you don't just have to use this palette or these eyeshadows. You can do what I'm going to be doing using these with pretty much any eyeshadows that you have. Um, so if you want to get this, it's around $20. Um, they do a lot of like affiliate codes, so you can find those online and you can kind of save some money on it. Um, I do really recommend these palettes. They're great. So you get all of these shadows for $20. They blend really easy. Um, they're really easy to work with if you're just starting out. But there are a lot of colors in here, so it's worth your money. Um, there are some eyeshadows in here. I've had this palette since it came out about a year ago, and I haven't even touched every single color in here. So you can do this look with like two or three eyeshadows, or you can use this palette if you have it, or if you want to buy it. That's totally up to you. But I'm just going to be showing you kind of the basics today, so you can do this with any eyeshadows that you have. You don't need to go out and spend any money. Um, you can just use whatever you have around the house. So I've already primed my eyes. Um, you can use a primer if you want to. I recommend priming your eyes some way. I don't always use an eye, like an actual eye makeup primer. Um, if I do like a glam look and I'm using glitter, then I use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Um, if I want to use an eye primer, I have a Mary Kay one that I'll use, but typically I just use whatever concealer that I have. Um, so I used, like today, I put the Shape Tape by Tarte concealer underneath my eye, so I just put that all over my eyelid, and then I set it with my setting powder. So today that was the Kat Von D Locket setting powder. Um, I like to use the concealer just for me personally. I know how they work. If I put them under my eye, I know that they're not going to crease. I know they're not going to get greasy, anything like that. Um, so I typically just use whatever concealer I put under my eye because I already know how they work. So, sorry, got to get my brushes. So like I said, I just put that all over my eye. And then what I'll do, um, I you can use any like flat brush. This one's a natural hair. It's by Mary Kay. This is just the um, eye definer. It's just a flat brush. You can use anything. Morphe has a ton of them. Makeup Geek. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this really light shade here. So I just kind of dip my brush in this. And then I'll like tap off the excess because it does have... It has a little bit of fallout. Not too much. Um, but you also don't want to go in with like a whole bunch of product on your brush. So I'll just tap off, tap off the excess. And then I'll just dust this all over my eyelid um, just to make sure that that powder and the concealer that's already set just to make sure it's all blended together and really nice and I have like an even base. It also helps the eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting over this to blend 
together and sit on the eye really nicely. So I'm going to be using today the It Cosmetics, okay, so this doesn't have a name on it, but it's just, it's by It Cosmetics, you can get it at Ulta, um, but it's just a really big, like, fluffy blending brush, um, and then I also wanted to show you the Morphe M433, it's kind of like this, it's smaller, um, but it's just another, like, fluffy uh, blending brush and then also the Morphe R37 you can use as well. Any like fluffy brush like this you can use to do what I'm doing but today I'm going to be using this IT Cosmetics one and I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, So all I'm going to be doing in this Morphe palette, I'm going to be taking this color right here. So this is like a peachy cream color. Um, it's kind of, it's not super tan, but it's it's like on the lighter peachy side because I am more fair tone. But all you need is just any eyeshadow that is a little bit darker than your skin tone and kind of on like the tan or peachy side to get this look. You can also do any kind of light shadow like that. And what it's going to do is make your eyeshadow a lot easier to blend out. So I'm just going to put this in the crease. And I'm just going to run my brush and windshield wiper motions back and forth all in my crease. And I'll kind of do this. Like I'll do the long windshield wiper motions. And then I'll just kind of do circles. And I'll just keep doing this until everything is like blended out. Now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take the other blending brush that I showed you guys earlier. So this is the Morphe M433. You can do this on the same brush. Um, this one, like I said earlier, is a little bit less, um, it's a little bit smaller. And so it kind of is a little easier to really like be precise with it. Um, you don't need to be too precise with this because it is just... We're just going to be blending it all over. It's not like a super dark color because we are going for an everyday look. But um, I'm going to be using this brush now. But like I said, you can use the, the original brush and just stay the same. So I'm going to be going in with these two shades now. Um, they're both like brown shades. They're not super brown though. They're not like super dark. Um, so I'm just going to mix these two together just because I don't know which one I want to use. So that's, I'm just going to be taking those two colors. You can do just any brown that's a little bit darker than the one that you put in your crease already. Um, you don't want it to be super dark, but um, just kind of like a medium brown shade. And I'm just going to put this all in my crease again. I'm just not going to go quite as high as I did with the first one. So I'm going to put this in my crease, and instead of bringing it up a little bit like I did with the other one, I'm just going to stay in my crease. And now I'm just going to go in with that first brush that we used, and I'm just going to blend some more just to make sure they all are even and there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Because you definitely want to stay away from having harsh lines. Okay. So now the last thing that we're going to do... So like we said, we don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning. So now I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this color right here. This is a shimmer. Um, you can do, if you don't want to do like a shimmery eyeshadow, you could do the first color that we put on. You could put that there. Any shade that's like a lighter color. This one's more on like the pinky orange side, but any light colored shadow will work. And to do this, you can, if you're using a shimmer, you can either put it on with your finger or you can use um, any synthetic flat brush like this. This one is the Cream Eye Color Concealer Brush from Mary Kay. But like I said, you can do any light colored shadow. I'm going to be doing this shimmer color. And all you're going to do is you're going to like pick it up on your brush or your finger or whatever. Tap off the excess. And then you're just going to put this in your lid. 
I don't put it um, all the way over here because I kind of like, sorry, my dogs are going nuts. I like to have my um, outer V stay matte and kind of help to define that eyelid. So I kind of blend this all over, leaving this kind of last quarter of my eyelid blank. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of the two brushes that we use to blend our crease out. It doesn't matter which one. And all I'm going to do is with whatever products left on here, I'm not going to pick up any more. I'm just going to go back in my crease and make sure that this stays blended. Okay. So the top of the eyelids are done now. Um, if you were doing this and you weren't talking like I was or anything like that, you can do this eye makeup look in like five minutes, I promise you. So you're done with all of these brushes that you used earlier. And now the last thing that you're going to do, I'm going to take this flat definer brush. This is the M432 by Morphe. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to go to these darker colors that we used in the crease. I'm going to just do both of them. I'm going to tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to put this along my lash line. So once I do that, I'm going to take, this is a eye smudger brush. So this is also by Mary Kay. Um, but any, like, you could even do this with, like, an angled brush. Any small brush that you have will work to do this. And all I'm going to do, so I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to go back in with this light shade that we used earlier. Get a little bit on there. And I'm just going to run this along my lash line again. So this is going to kind of smudge out the line that we did earlier. Um, it's kind of smoking it out, but not like since we're using such light colors, it's not going to look smoky. It's just going to make sure that that flat definer brush that we used to get along our lash line is not super harsh. So once you do that, for eyeshadow, we are all done. Um, like I said, when I am getting ready in the morning, I don't have time to do eyeliner every single day. So all I would do now when I get ready for work is I would just use this and curl my lashes and then I would put mascara on. I am going to put some eyeliner on the top of my eyelid. You do not have to do this. Um, again, like I said, if I was just getting ready for work, I would not do this. But because I am going out and I have the time, I'm going to put some eyeliner on. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I went ahead and I finished my other eye with that eyeliner. I put my eyebrows on and I put some mascara on and I curled my lashes. Um, this is what I would kind of do for an everyday look for work or school or whatever. And then the last thing I just wanted to show you guys is what I would do for this look for my lips. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with, this is just a lip liner. This is by NYX and it's SPL number 18 and it's a natural. So this is just like a natural nude lip, or lip liner. So all I'm going to do is line my lips with this and I'll also kind of fill it in just a little bit um, to make sure that it's all even. My lips are lined. I'm going to be using today the, it's the Coco by Kali Cosmetics Collection. This is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade Clo Money. This is just like a nude liquid lipstick. And this one, I think like nude liquid lipsticks or just nude lips in general go really well with this, uh, this look. And especially because the shimmer and the eyeshadows that I used today or they're on the warm side and they are more natural. So a natural lip looks really good. But you could also do like a bright lip or something if you wanted to do that as well. But today I wanted to go for the nude lip. So I'm just going to put this all over my lips and then show you how it looks in the end. Okay, so that is how I would end this look. The only other thing I'm going to do, um, because I do get a little oily in like my T-zone area, and I also like my makeup to last 
a long time. I don't like to have to do retouches or touch-ups or anything like that. So I like to, I set my foundation and everything with a powder as soon as I finish it. Today, like I said, I did the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. Um, but then I also like to go in with a setting spray. Um, I really like the Urban Decay ones. They tend to work the best for me. So this is the Urban Decay D-Slick one. And so I just kind of spray this all over. This one helps me with like my oil control and it helps in general just making sure my makeup stays in place and stuff all day. So that is everything for this look you guys. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I believe it's down here. And then um, don't forget to hit that notification bell that way every time I upload a new video um, you guys will be notified for that. I'm not sure if the um, the first impression on the Clinique foundation. I'm not sure if that is going to be up already or if it will be up sometime next week. I'll let you know, but if it is up, I will link it in the description box below. And if it's not, hit that little notification bell and you'll be notified when it does get uploaded. I will put all of the products that I used today um, in the description box below. And don't forget to like, comment, down below if you did enjoy this, if you have any recommendations um, for what I should do next, any products that you would like me to do a first impression on, anything like that, um, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.